guys, what's up? Sidney here, and we're bringing you a brand new video. What we're going to do is we're going to get into this and we're going to explain the game time. There is a little bit of a funny moment in this, guys. Um, basically, you're going to see me get stuck, and I absolutely cannot move whatsoever. Eventually, it does let me off there, but um, you're going to see exactly how that happens, and I think you're going to enjoy that because it's a little bit of a laugh for you guys, and that's one of the reasons that I uploaded this one in specific. Um, what we're actually on here is the art cannon and what we're going to do is we're going to go on a kills tutorial, pilot kills, grunt kills, spectre kills and Tyson kills all in one gameplay guys so we're going to do it all for you and um, basically one of your best ways of racking up this is actually campaign mode um, the only thing is in campaign mode what you're going to find is you're going to find teams of high ranks as well so you're going to be against good teams um, what you'll find in other game modes as well is you'll have high ranks but they may not necessarily be as good as other players and um, basically the reason for that is because all the high ranks who know what they're doing generally use campaign in order to get their challenges complete quite fast and there's nothing wrong with that guys apart from it is a little bit unfair when you get an unranked team um, I do disagree with that the matchmaking does need to get sorted out um, it's one of those I'd rather have a fair fight than an unfair fight it's as simple as that Okay, so all you're going to see here is me racking up those grunt kills and basically snapping a few necks which is giving me a few extra points. See that human there? That's a little bit of bad aim by me. But what we're going to do is we're not going to be deterred by that and we just kill a guy called Don't Do This Crap. Do what crap, bro? What? Okay, right. So we brought our Titan in and what we're going to be using is we're going to be using the Strider with the Art Cannon and I believe I've got the smoke on this one. Okay, so all I'm doing here is I'm just aiming for the grunts and stuff and we're basically going to rack up these kills. There you go. Hello pilot. Okay, we got a pilot assist on that one. Unfortunately that didn't pick up the human kill. We can see this one up here. Can we get it? Yep, yep we can. There we go. Okay, so we get pilot number one. Grunt kills. That's what we need as well. Just having a scout round, we got a pilot lock, but we know there's a guy in the corner here, so we're gonna take him out first. Because we have got our shield still up at the moment, so the damage isn't being done to us. Vice Admiral, I'm detecting increased heat signatures. Ooh, Spectres! Yay! There we go, you can see challenge completed, ten thousand points if it moves the art cannon challenge. So that way you know that this does work. Um basically the way you wanna rack up these kills as well is you wanna have minion detector on. It is a necessity guys, you will not be able to find grunts and spectres as fast as you would do without minion detector. So if you need to rack up those uh grunt kills, spectre kills, minion detector is a must. Simple as that. Okay, so all I'm doing here is I'm just hanging around this type in here. I'm gonna place that smoke. Something actually did take a lot of damage onto me there, so we're gonna be forced to reject on this one. I'm gonna chuck two arc grenades down there. And here we go guys, I'm stuck! I'm stuck, I can't freaking move! Oh. Anyway, okay, so you can see I actually get stuck for a long time here. It does actually work out a little bit of an advantage though, because they have no idea where I am because I'm using the suppressor. And you can see I picked up a human kill there. It's not that good for getting that human kill there, even though I did get the hit markers. And the art grenades don't reach far enough. And you're going to see me desperately trying to get off here. Come on, come on, let me off. Looking around, looking around. I am actually pushing my analog stick, by the way. I'm trying it different ways. Because I, I, I kind of need to get off here. I was going to try and kill myself, but I didn't have satchel charges or anything like that. I didn't realise that I could have just threw the art grenades at the actual wall. But I didn't end up needing to because it eventually... Come on, come on. Eventually... Jesus Christ. Okay, eventually let me off. There we go, that took a while. Right. Okay, so we actually lost a lot of game time on that. As I jump down, I do get hit marked, so we know there's a guy there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to figure of hate him, and we're going to come up from behind. Of which he doesn't expect, he does start turning around. 
And there you go, we take him out and we've got our Titan again. Okay, so all we're going to do now, guys, is we're basically going to go back to work with the art cannon. Now, the art cannon, basically, when you got it charged like this, um, it's not the best for using it. There's a thing called the capacitor. I strongly, strongly recommend the capacitor, guys. That will allow you to keep trigger holding and stuff like that um, but with this one when you let go of it in the normal mode basically it just fires it and um, there's nothing you can do about it so you're gonna find those minions pretty damn fast if you have the capacitor on it's gonna be a lot more effective for you guys uh, if you're in a one-on-one -on -one situation this is a very good weapon to use because it is gonna do high damage all you basically need to do is just be smart about your gameplay as well um, I learned that recently and basically I lost a game by using every single weapon apart from the art cannon and I didn't realize how much of a beast the art cannon was but I realize it now guys so I'm telling you I'm gonna give you all hints yeah boy Okay, we got another challenge completed. Doopy doopy doo. Doopy doo doopy doo. Well done. Okay, that gives us the victory guys, so don't forget if you do like my content, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment the videos, um, it does help out a hell of a lot, those subscriber counts guys, it really does help and it's simple as that, and obviously I appreciate every single subscriber, I appreciate all the support that's been given to me, you can see a bit of a gang war going up here because we have so many titans up right now, and you can see there's a pilot right behind me, let's see if we can take him out, we just placed a small here's a go there, where is that? come on, you know you've got to come out there you are, and we take him out, moon party match that's a pretty cool name actually I quite like that ok, now you're going to see the amount of damage that the art cannon does on the actual dropship which is absolutely shit right guys, so I'm just going to leave you to watch the rest of the gameplay that was my mistake, I kind of let that pilot uh, get on to that one as well and there you go we're gonna finish it off just by suiciding baby 11 for nil 94 attrition points peace out